All right, so today's plan is to throw these on Nelly. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while now. I never did this when I was younger as a kid, so. Got some underglow here. They're so definitely nothing like what we used to have back in the day with the, the tubes. Um, we just take everything out of here and see what we got. There's the uh, controller, obviously. Looks like there's six lights or four, maybe. Can't tell here. Should be. Let's see here. Let's see what this is. All right, so four lights, two long ones, one for each side, and then one on the front, one on the back. So we got two long ones and two short ones. So a lot of wire in here. Uh, these detach. So the lights themselves will detach and then they go up and plug into the controller. So let's get started on this. All right, so started putting the uh, underglow on. I completely spaz out and I fucking forgot to record any of this. So got the front on and the passenger side on. Um, turn the lights off here and they're not as bright as I was expecting. But there's only two on there right now. Turn this off. There's the fronts. And then the passenger side. So um, I'm just mounting them right now. They're not like wired in yet. They're just kind of like temporary hooked up to the uh, the battery, directed to the battery with uh, um, some alligator clips. So that's probably gonna be the most pain in the ass part of this whole thing is actually wiring it. But I do have my fuse panel thing. So it won't be too bad, just I don't I don't like running the wiring because then I gotta take the interior apart and hide everything and so I'm gonna get started on the right side or the driver side and uh kind of explain and show you what I'm doing. You take the 3M tape off and then what I'm doing is I'm using these things to secure them to the bottom of the car so just taking like this one right here for example and then screw and then I'm putting this on this and then screwing it to the bottom side of the car so I'm going to uh, put this one up real quick all right this side's on uh, I didn't do anything special here, just kind of winged it. It's going to have some sag in a few spots. Obviously a 3M tape ain't going to stick to just everything, so. Um, that's all I have it. But it ain't going anywhere. Um, that's up inside, like that's not the lowest part of the car, obviously, so. It's not going to scrape nothing or rub or anything it's not too close to the exhaust i really don't like the idea of putting holes in the floor but i mean you really have no choice so all right i got all the lights ran so uh just want to go over the wiring real quick um so right here like you got the light and then there's a wire on one of the ends and then that wire uh it's like four five six feet long and then it ties in to this like uh let me see here it ties into like these right here so like you'll have wires come from the controller out they all plug in so you can detach them and then they run up you know they're long too so you have whatever length wire on the lights themselves plus whatever length these wires from here to the lights are so from the white all the way down and to this there's four of them obviously 
So I have them coming up through the floor right here. They'll plug in right here. Um, what I did was like for the fronts, um, I just zip tied all the wiring harness part. Um, so like I ran the harness from the front lights up kind of in the engine bay kind of down above the subframe and down here by these other lights. Um, and then I just have them zip tied uh, to the actual lights on the side all the way through the whole length of these lights. And then back here out of this one is the other harness for, for this light. So I just kept doing the same thing all the way back. Um, I have them zip tied uh, to various things like the uh the brake lines and the e-brake cable um shit like that a bunch of random holes so both sides are the same uh they all run up through here and then the big you know mess of wires here just you have plenty of length like you have a shit ton of length uh so then from here the power wires is a power and a ground so I have it wired up to my relay panel. So the power wire is connected to right here, um, which runs off of this relay. And then the other, the only other thing I have to do wiring wise is I have to add a wire from this, um, which this, like the wire would go to a switch. So from here, I'm gonna have a wire run from here all the way up to my toggle switches. So this is actual power and then so they'll have power but you need a switch to activate it so i'm going to wire it up to um my toggle switch panel up front i just have it temporarily wired up from the positive on the relay panel to this to uh you know just so that way it's got 12 volts so um that's the only thing i got to do right now i'm going to pull the car out of the garage um because i really want to see what it looks like and i don't want to wait until i fucking run the wires up to the power wire or to the uh toggle switch panel so um i'm gonna lower the car off the jack stands real quick and then pull it out check it out and then i'll finish up running the wire just literally just one wire from here all the way up to whichever toggle switch i decide to use so that's why I really like these things, cause like I, I already have a home for everything. It's so easy. Like it's on its own circuit, has its own relay, its own fuse. Like um, it just makes things so much easier. All right, here it is. Pretty good. Definitely not as bright out as, as I was hoping it would be, but. $60 or something, 80 bucks maybe top. Actually, I think it was like 30 or something. Actually, because I got two of them, so definitely wasn't very expensive. Who, who knows? Maybe the more expensive one would need to be this right or maybe the same or whatever. So I'm happy with it. Pretty cool. I've never had these before.
biggest reason why I want to do this is I love, like, at night, I love being able to, like, work on a car on the ground or whatever, land a car and have plenty of light to, like, see shit. So, like, I did a lot of this shit with Ivy, like, with the interior especially. You can see every nook and cranny inside of Ivy because of how I have the light. So, I was going to do this with Ivy, just not necessarily with these LED or RGB shit, but um, with like similar to what I use in the interior. But I never did. And then you know, I wanted to be a little writer in the process. So, I don't know, it's fucking so dumb, but it's funny as shit and it's cool. So you can dim this shit. See if I can make it brighter. So that's the brightest. it again I don't know if I'll probably keep it out of the garage I'll do the wiring um, to the toggle switch and then it'll be completely done so then I can turn them on and off with the toggle switch another thing that I noticed is uh, like every time I put power to it and then like so I'll put power to it and then I'll turn it to red well when I took power off of it like basically if I turn the switch off on a toggle switch panel they just go off and then as soon as I turn the fucking power back on it automatically goes to the last setting so um, that's something that I was curious about is if like you turn the power back on and then it wouldn't have like a store setting you know like but it takes your last use setting so that's pretty cool got it wired up to the toggle switch here so That'll be pretty convenient. And then I'll just leave my controller in here somewhere so that way if I want to fuck with it, I can fuck with it. Interior's back together. Uh, I put some carpet back here and I put the wood, like the floor shit. And I just kind of tidied it up a little bit. Make it a little more presentable. Vacuum the car out, wiped the interior down earlier today. Oh, this thing don't look too bad when it's clean. It's gonna have to be clean because I got a date this weekend, uh, Saturday night. So, pretty excited for that. And uh, I'm driving. So, we want to make sure Nelly is all clean and runs good and looks good. Some ricer fucking underglow and shit. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun. Uh, it took a long time to put up, put all this shit on. The wiring was probably the longest, kind of. Just like running the lights. Um, I don't know, just really long process. So, it was worth it though. I got some more fun shit actually planned um, soon, hopefully. We'll see. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.